And of course, it's just about that time we have in the studio with us, my technology, uh, Dr. Jason Batson. Good morning to you. And of course, he's joined by his colleague, his good, good colleague this morning, Paul Green. And uh, of course, it's time for the program, Overcoming Health this year with Dr. Jason Batson. So we want to welcome him to the mic. And of course, um, I know persons have been anticipating uh, his arrival. So let's get right into it. Good morning to you, good sir. Good morning, good morning. Good morning to you, good sir, as well. And of course, a pleasant good morning to the listeners of Sky 99.5. Always a pleasure to be in your company on a Sunday morning discussing health, health from a natural and integrated perspective. And um, as I so rightfully um, introduce my esteemed colleague with me this morning, Mr. Paul Green. Okay, you know what I'm going to say. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm going to say. Yes, I've been very nice. I've been very nice. I mean, this fellow have plenty names. You know. <laughs> yeah, but uh, better, better known as Jabari. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, of course, a pleasant good morning to the, um, to the listeners again of Sky 99.5. A pleasant good morning to Mr. Green. How are you doing, sir? I'm great. I'm great. I'm so thankful to be here. Thank you for inviting me for this particular program. I'm actually excited to see what we have in store for today. Good, good, good. Glad. So glad to hear that. Uh, of course, uh, you're listening to yours truly the Senior Medical Director at Batson & Associates, Dr. Jason Batson. And we have a packed program for you today. You know how we do it. We try to keep it as interactive as possible. Uh, of course, we are live on our social media platforms, all of them. We are Batson & Associates Limited on Facebook, and we already have uh, in with us already Miss Pamela Moses in the Southland. Good morning to you. Miss Heather Lawrence, good morning to you as well. And Miss Marge Hills. Keep in mind, we are live on our Instagram. We are Batson & Associates TT on Instagram. And on uh, uh, YouTube, we are Batson & Associates Trinidad. TikTok, it's Batson & Associates. So a few handles, well. So, you know, the usual, like us, share us, follow us. Um, in not necessarily in that order. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Miss Jennifer Valentine, of course, a pleasant good morning to you out there in Texas. And you know, we have some exciting news. Um, we had our programs as we usually had um, on some frequencies earlier this week, and of course, we have, of course, you know, taken questions. You know, um, and there are some outstanding questions that we have, which we're going to actually uh, address today. I know Mr. Green has a few that we're going to touch on. And of course, our open lecture series, which we now starting, you know, a lot of um, good news around that. And the first one, of course, is going to be taking place uh, in Debye. That's Debye on the 28th of that Saturday, 28th of October at our Debye office. And that's going to be one of the first of many installments of our open lecture series. So take full advantage of that. Uh, you can call, make your bookings. Uh, we actually have two programs that we'll be doing on those days. Um, I'll give you the times of those in a little bit. And of course, we are actually, you know, we have it on social media, so you can actually share it with someone. And, you know, um, Mr. Green, we're actually doing that uh, to really sensitize a lot of persons about Batson and Associates, you know, who we are, what we do. Because we have so many persons sometimes who hear us or who have been hearing us, who have um, been recommended to listen to us, but, you know, they don't really know the full story. Right. So, you know, it's a matter of really giving them an insight into what we do at Batson and Associates, especially with the blood analysis, the magnetic resonance analysis, scan, and most importantly, how we actually uh, determine root cause and most importantly, use that information to really assist the client to achieve whatever objective they came to um to attain 
and whatever issues they're dealing with, you know, whether it is issues associated with arthritis, diabetes, whatever the case may be. So, uh, you know, keep that date in mind. As, as a good friend of mine always say, make it a date, don't be late. That is Saturday, the 28th of October, and that's taking place at our daily office. That office, of course, is located at the corner of Ramsam, Mooch Trace, and the SSA Main Road in Dibi. The telephone number for that office, of course, is 223. That's 223-7515. 223-7515. You can actually call, register, and that's something that we're encouraging persons to do because of the amount of persons that, you know, we already have um, calling and registering. You know, we want you to come, have a, a, a wonderful experience, you know, various tests, various lectures. Uh, we're going to have one or two, a few speakers too as well. So, you know, something to look forward to. So again, to the listeners of Sky 99.5, keep that date. Those of you in the Southland, of course, we're going to be doing Shogona, St. James, Tobago as well, which we have not forgotten. Tobago, let me say a pleasant good morning to Tobago. Good morning, Tobago. <laughs> and I say a pleasant good morning and holy side of my head. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I know why. But, you know, as, as usual, you know, all, all as I tell, as somebody taught me well recently, they were saying, you know, all opportunities brings uh, some uh, uh, challenges. Absolutely. And, you know, that is something that will always be said you know, of of what we do at Batson and Associates and life in general, eh? right? So keep that date in mind. That's Saturday, the 28th of October. So to the listeners of Sky 99.5, good morning. We, we're discussing health. One of the things I wanted to touch on before um, I go to Mr. Green as regards to some of the questions, outstanding questions that he had, is this matter of the immune system. And the reason why I'm speaking about the immune system is because for like about the past three days, I wasn't myself. Uh, in the sense that I, I pick up a little something. And I mean, when you interact with the amount of people or the volume of people that I interact with on a daily basis at different locations at that type of thing, you know, you pick up a little one or two something. Nobody's not saying no, right? But what we're going to speak about today is about boosting your immune system naturally. And most importantly, how to really take care of our immune systems, especially as it relates to the new types of viruses we have. And I say new types because, as you would be aware, and, you know, a lot of persons, I think, didn't get it after subsequent to COVID that we had so we have so many different types of viruses and strains and additions and uh, um, deletions associated with COVID that so many of the, the viruses that we have now are actually influenza viruses where they actually attack the lungs primarily. So you'll find a lot of persons with experience and symptomology associated with bronchitis, you know, bringing up a lot of cold, um, a lot of mucus, a lot of coughing that type of thing. And of course, at Batson and Associates, you know, we do carry a wide range of products associated with actually boosting one's immune system. Um, silver with mineral formula, primarily my favorite, because I find it so easy to use it to really have a taste per se. And, you know, it's something I can actually throw in water. Uh, I'm going to say and anything else, but I do encourage the anything else because somebody might, you know, go and want to throw it in soft drink, which will just spoil the whole thing, you know, but water, primarily in water. So, you know, we're discussing the immune system um, today, and we're also discussing a number of um, um, different topics. What are we going to do, uh, Mr. Green? I know that there were some questions that was lingering in, in, in a, a number of persons who came to the St. James office, and, you know, you mentioned that we needed to touch on some of those, so, you know. Absolutely. Uh, again, uh, thank you for having me, Dr. Batson. It's such a privilege to be here. Um, good morning, Facebook. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, likewise, to the listener, the listeners of the radio station. Um, St. James Branch, you know, you usually will have a high influx of clients on certain days. Good. And oftentimes, yes. you will have clients that come in with particular questions. And there were a couple of questions that kind of stuck out for me. Right. Now, while you're on the point of the immune system and mm. the importance of building the immune system, I can remember a particular client that asked a question resolving or surrounding mm. discussions of the immune system. Now, one of the things they were saying is that they got COVID, right. but they consistently had symptoms related to what they referred to as long COVID. Correct. So they were having issues with breathing, they were having issues with short breath. Right. And what I try to explain to them is that even though you would have gotten COVID mm -hmm. and you would have basically recovered some aspects of it, you remain with some symptomology of it. Good. And in dealing with it, the immune system is critically one of the things we need to look at. So they were asking what aspect of the immune system we really have to focus on because they understand that the immune system is a multifaceted system. It's quite broad. True. So they were really asking what aspect they need to focus on. So I thought it was an interesting question that I really wanted to throw to you this morning. Definitely, definitely. I mean, the, the thing is, the immune system is multifaceted in, in a number of ways. 
uh, where you have your different types of cells. So you have your, your fighter cells, your T cells. Uh, one of the, the different aspects associated with, uh, especially during the COVID situation, and one of the things that I, I was and continue to be a huge advocate of is actually building what is known as natural immunity, right? right? And the thing with natural immunity, what natural immunity really is, is just that. It is one's immune system being able to be so robust that it's actually able to fight off a number of different viruses, bacteria, well, pathogens primarily, right. which would either be bacteria, virus, fungus, protozoa, or worms, parasites, parasites yeah. those type of things. Now, with one of the disadvantages I found with a, a number of persons who got COVID and disadvantage in the sense that a lot of persons didn't understand um, what COVID really left them with. And, you know, that's why the question is such an interesting question, is that uh, what a lot of persons do not understand with your immune system. First of all, 70% of the immune system lies in the gut. The gut, absolutely. Very, very important. And at Batson and Associates, you know, that is why regardless of what type of test you may bring for us, you know, whether you, you may do a, a PSA, you may do a, a thyroid function test, T3, T4, TSH, maybe you would have done a test with ESR, erythrocyte sedimentation ratio, whatever the case may be. We always go back to the aspect or the foundation of a live blood analysis. True. And the reason for that is because blood analysis or, or human blood is one of the greatest witnesses, and I always say, say this, because it tells past, present, and future. So it basically gives us a clear indication of what one's immune system um, looks like, uh, especially from the dry blood analysis when you're looking at things like biological terrain. Because, and that's something I always focus on as well, because someone who has issue where that biological terrain is... Um, very poor it shows high levels of inflammation it means that that person also has a compromised immune system now going back to covid when you look at with infections i should say rather a number of times you get infections and these infections basically are uh, get into the tissues now the thing is pathogens are so smart that they only come out when the immune system is not at its strongest, right? right? And, and that makes sense, you know, bandit shouldn't come out with it. Well, I mean, it's it's like, yeah, 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 we have some special ones here, anyway. but at the same time, you, you, you want the least amount of opposition, right. right? So the body behaves the same in the sense that pathogens, especially COVID, and what COVID really, I mean, if you really examine the COVID, um, virus and you examine different types of viruses that are very close to COVID, like SARS, right. um, the family of viruses. Correct. Right. A, um, HIV, e Ebola, um, even herpes, all of those kind of things. If you really look at them from a, a virology perspective, they very they resemble all of them is, is cousin, one with a glasses, one here long. So, exactly. Yeah. So the thing is what that does is that those pathogens can actually hide in the tissues of the lungs. And they can stay there for an extended period of time. Our immune system is not as it's supposed to, or, and in most cases, because of having gotten COVID before, your immune system would have been compromised. And if you do know how to do it, um, to really boost it back up, you're going to be left, um, you know, in a particular situation. And that is what has happened to so many persons who have ended up with long COVID. What we what we find it now is that, as I mentioned, a lot of these viruses are actually termed influenza viruses. The World Health Organization, in their, I think, the, the most recent report, one of the things that they actually showed is that uh, they have a, a wide category of viruses now. Um, I, I think they may be just afraid to tell people what it really has of right. there. Right. But right. We, we realize now, because th this, this particular or these particular types of viruses are, are much stronger, they're more robust, so, they're more resistant. They are, And the thing is, the symptomology is, is, is very broad, eh? because, I mean, with COVID too as well, you had where it actually affects the, um, the respiratory system, it affects the musculoskeletal system, so you have pain and all those type of things, cardiovascular system and that. And, and this is the first time I believe so, um that a lot of persons have actually seen viruses that have actually shown um a propensity to really attack the the, the cardiovascular system right, yeah. causing things like cardiomyopathy and all that all those type of things so i'm saying all of that to say that basically your immune system is your responsibility 
also need to pay very close attention, those of you who have children, especially little children, because we know in that school environment, you know, children, they're always playing, always touching, their hand always all over the place. They tend to, yeah, they tend to, yeah, and I'm sure you being a, a father of, of some young children would, would know exactly, you know, what that is like, you know, you're constantly have to be looking at them, you constantly have to be paying attention to them. So to the parents listening to this and, and to persons who may have had long problems prior to COVID, or who may have long problems, exactly. so things like like um, uh, things like bronchitis, tuberculosis, and those type of things. You need to be very, 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 very careful that you boost the immune system naturally. And of course, Barcelona yeah. Associates could help you do that because if you leave yourself open, for want of a better expression, it's very easy because long infections can go. To lung cancer very quickly yeah sure. a lot of people don't understand that and you know that is something that you know you need to pay very close attention to you I, yeah. one of the things that that was is really interesting even uh -huh. the blood analysis because we are on the, the point of the immune system uh -huh. and recognizing how it's easy to identify a system that is elevated with different type of white blood cells right we know from a blood analysis that your body carries but a particular type of white blood cells that launch a response based on the threat. Right. I often do try to give it the similarity of a uh, country's defense system. So you right. have police, you have uh, army, you have coast guard. Right. But based on the threat, you will send that particular defense system to deal with the threat. Correct. Just like that, the uh, white blood system, uh, white blood cells in your in your body works. Good. They launch a particular response to that particular threat. So if they have a viral infection, mm -hmm. they're going to launch that particular response. Right. Your body is that intricate and that specific in terms of launching the good, attack. Good. Now, one of the things that, that I'm able to, or you're able to see in a blood analysis, which is quite interesting, is these white blood cells and how they behave. Correct. Oftentimes, you see these white blood cells, they are behaving very sluggish, they're moving good. very slowly, right. or you may have elevated amounts of a particular blood, blood cell, which gives you insight as to what threats they are already facing. Right. And in doing that, or in doing a retest after a client would have done an initial blood analysis over right. a period of time, let's say over the period of, of three to four months. Good. And we have that retest done. It's amazing to see the level of control environment that you're not able to enjoy from blood. So you're not only just feeling good, but you're actually seeing measurable improvements Excellent. when you look at the, doing the blood analysis, which is quite amazing. And you even can see that. That is something that they are very interested in. Why my cells behaving like this, or why they looking like this? Good. So seeing how it was before mm -hmm. to seeing how it is after, it usually really indicates some level of uh, improvement in the condition of their blood, but more so mm -hmm. in the improvement of the immune system. Excellent, yeah. excellent, I, I, excellent. Couldn't agree more. And, and you know the thing is, and, and that's why I always tell persons that I. In, in, in all aspects of medicine, all types of equipment, machines, whatever the case may be, yeah. I would always go with a microscope because it it, it gives you the ability. And at Baxter and Associates, you know, we are we are trained consultants in uh, blood microscopy, integrated medicine. I mean, let me say a pleasant, uh, good day to other consultants, uh, uh, Mr. Vialva, Ms. Ramdan, and of course, Mr. Bastamante. And of course, uh, you know, we form an excellent team in terms of assisting individuals to really get better. And, and you know, as, as you so rightfully said, it, it's not just a matter of coming, getting results, seeing improvement for yourself, but there is empirical data, there is evidence that cannot be disputed. Cannot be disputed. You know, even the, the, there are different tests that we have clients do before and after, you know, we and we do those retests to really determine improvement. Yeah. And again, you know, empirical data to really show um, that level of improvement. And, and that is what we really do at Baxter and Associates. So those of you who are really concerned about your immune system, those of you with children especially, because this is the you notice know, I'm harping on this children situation, because I dealt with some children earlier this week, and I believe that is where my uh, my <laughs> my slight device was. Uh, yeah, because it, 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 it was a lot. And, you know, most importantly, uh, with parents, because you see, the thing is, with a compromised immune system, the body's now open to a number of other things. Right. So it, it means that someone, look, take diabetes, for example. A lot of people do not understand that diabetes or diabetics as well show high compromised immune systems. Correct. The immune system is significantly compromised. And the reason for that is... Uh, uh, because diabetes is so inflammatory, is so acidic, it, it you know it really creates 
uh, an environment that is conducive for disease and for disease progression. You know, um, so it's very important that you really work on that. So again, you know, feel free to give us a call or visit. Uh, keep in mind those locations and telephone numbers. We're going to share it with you in a little while. Keep in mind we are live on our social media platforms. Very important. So those of you who may not be following us as yet, those of you who may not even be aware of Batson Associates or who Batson Associates are, and there are persons like that. Um, the Friday, I actually had a young lady who came to us, um, a very nice young lady. And, and one of the things I must say, which is something we always try to help clients, new clients, previous clients to understand, is the importance of diet ethics. True. the importance of eating well it is quite unfortunate that a number of persons do certain things and don't understand how detrimental those things are to their health you know um you know, people and, and the coffee people are going to want to strangle me here but um you know a simple aspect of coffee for example because this particular individual drank like up to five six seven eight ten cups of coffee for the day and then they came with some serious health challenges this is someone else and i highlighted that because at batson associates with our intake form and you're aware of that mr green you know we, we capture a certain amount of information and then of course when we do the blood analysis we're going to see uh, even more information there and this person didn't realize that the acidity the inflammation the joint pains that they were having the problems associated with the headaches the problem associated with the tiredness the sluggishness the problems associated with the elevated blood sugar that all of these had to do a direct at some level, a direct sub level, yeah, to the, to the, con the coffee wow. consumption. Wow. Because when you consume that amount of caffeine, caffeine is a diuretic, which means it causes chemically sodium to leave your body. Yeah. So, for the chemistry, the biochemistry of the body, that is what it does. When sodium leaves, water follows sodium. And that's just how the body works. So it means now you are actually creating a dehydration situation in your body. So you, you're already sick. You're already to the point of dying, quite frankly. And you're, you're essentially killing yourself. And, and, you know, a lot of persons have to understand the importance of that. And again, those are the things that we really emphasize and help persons to understand at Batson and Associates. Let me say a pleasant good uh, morning to Tamara Sullivan. She says, morning, Dr. Batson. I help to get rid of asthma. Okay, good, no problem. Randy Reggie said, I need help with this, please. Uh, uh, from the immune system. From okay, good. That there. whole situation there. Ms. Dawn Ellis, of course, our avid listen listener of us from Columbus, Ohio. She says, good morning, Dr. Batson Associates. This is Dawn Ellis from Columbus, Ohio. What should I do? I traveled to Dominica in April this year to a resort that serves all food that is picked that, that day. day. I was there for eight days. When I returned to the U.S., my taste buds were completely changed. Food did not taste the same. Consequently, I stopped eating and lost weight. Not that I was trying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I lost 30 pounds and continued to lose weight. I do not feel sick, but food is not the same. My doctor had me do... Yeah, the information I have uh, Yeah, there's... It's... Okay, so Don Ellis, uh, I got up to my doctor has had me do so you could continue that i think maybe, i think she's typing more because yeah. I, it would have just picked up a certain amount of there um what i sorry you're going to say yeah, let's Go interject a bit uh what what i would like you to speak to me and, and maybe explain to our, our listeners mm -hmm. is the role on the lymph not uh, nodes to your immune system and how right. they really help support the immune system since we're in the conversation of the immune, of system. immune system so give us a bit of insight on that uh, Excellent, excellent question. I mean, the thing is, when you look at, first of all, there's a product we carry at Batson and Associates, which uh, is a cleanser. It's a seven channel detox. Now, the reason why we had that cleanser, seven channel, kidney, colon, bloodstream, liver, lymphatic system, skin and your lungs, is because the lymphatic system to me was always a system that was sort of left by the yes. by yes. the wayside, you know, a lot of people didn't really understand the what concept of yeah. what the lymphatic system, yeah. even up to now. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, I I always tell persons I'm not in the politics of medicine. That's not going to change, and and that's why I feel so sorry for cancer patients, especially mm -hmm. women with breast cancer, because one of the most unfortunate things that they do is, apart from removing their br your breast, they remove your lymph nodes. Now, if you understand how important the lymphatic system is, first of all, your lymphatic system cleans the circulatory system. That's what. A lot of mopping, a lot of things. 
the lymphatic system, unlike your circulatory system, does not have a pump. Your circulatory system or your cardiovascular system, which is an extension or comprises your circulatory system, uh, has your heart, which essentially behaves like a pump. The, the, so how lim the lymphatic system works, your lymphatic system actually works with hydration and also works with gravity. So those are two key components that you have to take into consideration. So when you're dealing with organ systems in the body and you want to be healthy, you want to have a healthy immune system, you cannot leave out the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system is a key, key component um, of the entire immune system. But here it is, it is vitally important to clean and detoxify the circulatory system. Yeah. The next thing about your um, lymphatic system is the lymphatic system uh, also does a number of um, aspects associated with actually keeping pathogens at bay. Yeah. That is why you have your lymph nodes. So a lot of times, if you have a swollen lymph node, and this is something that a lot of people do not understand, like for example, if you may have problems with, you may have an infection close to your genitalia, so you may have a STD or STI or something like that, you're going to realize the lymph nodes on the side of the yeah. groin there yeah. become yeah. swollen. Or inflamed. In, or inflamed. Yeah. Correct. If you have a problem with your mouth, for example, your gums, you're going to realize the lymph nodes under the neck, the lymph nodes by the back of the neck becomes swollen. And the reason for this is that what the lymph lymphatic system is doing is protecting when it actually cordons off or blocks off the infection and it has those blood cells dealing with it yeah. literally day and night now why i'm saying that some people remove and that's why i said with the aspect of cancer and that type of thing and i am not in agreement with taking out lymph nodes is because the lymphatic system behaves it is like a complete circle now that circle is important because it has to remain connected connectivity so the circle cannot be broken when you remove lymph nodes you break that circle yeah. and it means now that the lymphatic system is compromised and not just compromised seriously compromised and when your lymphatic system is compromised as mr green and myself is discussing here it compromises your immunity yeah yeah so you are a serious serious disadvantage and what people have to also take into consideration is that cancer in the first place is an imbalance of the immune system. Right. You cannot get cancer in a body where your immune system functions properly. It cannot happen. Impossible. In, in Impossible. Essence, yeah. um, just a feedback of what you're just saying here. Your immune system is designed in such a way to captivate those cells and to deal with those cells. So Correct. once your cell, your, your immune system is absolutely compromised, your chances of uh, getting things like cancer, and different type of cancer, cancer of the breast, whatever they may be, Correct. is uh, heavily played on your immune system and its ability to launch that response. Amazing. Yes. You know, one of the things that I, I was looking at recently, Dr. Martin, I was looking to see how those same nodules or the mm -hmm. nodes really responsible for even creating that white blood cell. Correct. And as you say, cleaning. So you're removing the fundamental parts of the body. Moving absolutely. Cleanser. When you yeah. increase your chances of having ill health Correct. and, and, and it's usually related to cancer, barely a fighting chance because you're moving so much particular integral parts of that lymphatic system. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Uh, so let me give you those telephone numbers and then I'm going to go back to Dawn Ellis's question because she has given us the rest. Okay, um, keep in mind those telephone numbers are for the Ship Goddess office. We are located on the first floor of Money Talks building. That's Money Talks building in Montreux, Ship Goddess. That telephone number is 222 That's 222 of course, is the corner of Ramsam Wood Trace and the SS Erie Main Road in Davy. That telephone number for Davy, of course, is 223 7515. That's 223 7515. Keep in mind, all roads lead to Davy on Saturday, the 28th of October. That's for our um, health symposium, our health and wellness symposium. And that is again taking place on Saturday, the 20th of October. DB, that number again, 223-7515. And of course, St. James is Red Edge Mall, Western Main Road, St. James. That number, 220-8113. And Tobago, of course, is the Triangle Building in Scarborough, Tobago. That number, 226-4553. Again, 226-4553. So, Donna, let's continue. She says, my doctor had me do a CT scan and a body scan negative. I also did a colonoscopy and a throat scan, all negative. Whoa, that's a lot. But she is now having me going for a test to find out why I am still losing weight. What do you suggest I do? Can, should, 
No, should also, I? should I have my thyroid checked? Um, here, what I, one of these things, no, that could be a number of things, eh? but here, here where my head is going. Two places. One, the possibility exists that you could have picked up some sort of bug that does not necessarily manifest itself as such. And I'll say that because you mentioned that you travel, it was to South America, right? Yeah. Yes. All right. Well, well, Dominica, right? So the thing is, the possibility exists that you could have picked up some sort of bug um, and that could have affected your taste. It could have affected your body's ability to digest food properly. And as a result of that, you could be losing weight. Now, the thing is, the weight loss, um, based on what you're saying, is a little extensive. I mean, you're talking about 30 pounds and you continue to lose weight. That's a lot of weight. What I also believe could be a possibility uh, because of PMS, which is something that I continue or we continue to do a lot of work on. Postmenopausal syndrome, listen to me, ladies, is a serious, serious thing. I, I don't think people understand how serious this thing is. It's only recently I realized how serious it was because of the amount of work that we have been doing and the amount of research that I've been doing with it because I realize now a lot of problems that women have, depression, anxiety, insomnia, hypertension, secondary hypertension, a lot of the times the reason is because of that whole entire situation there where your that is not functioning properly and as a result of that now you're in a situation because of this hormonal imbalance you are going to be losing weight i strongly believe that is one of the things that you should look at uh i don't know mr green if you if you want to shed any light yeah. here as well uh it's interesting that you you raise the point of um uh the endocrine system because that's right. the system that is responsible for things like thyroid and things like hormone production and with women who are dealing with uh, menopausal symptoms, postmenopausal, uh, but menopausal symptoms, right. those are quite common to happen. Definitely. Now, one of the things that uh, I, I would have also liked to look at, or maybe the doctor could have done, okay. is the thyroid. Yes. All right, because again, thyroid is part of that same system you're speaking of, the endocrine Correct. system. Correct. And in, in cases where your funicular or your parafunicular cells in the right. thyroid is being affected, mm -hmm. it can absolutely cause history to lead to drastic weight loss. Correct. So maybe, uh, Miss Ellis, it's a good idea to actually have the thyroid check, have them check your T3, your T4, your TFH test, uh, or uh, figures, and let's see if you'll be having problems with either overactive thyroid or underactive thyroid, could be, which could really be one of the reasons for the drastic weight loss. Yeah. Good. Right. Um, she, she actually answered. So she said, I have gone I have gone through menopause a long time ago. I am 74, LOL. <laughs> and, and that is the point, Miss Ellis. A lot yes. of people... Be, let, me, let, me, let me explain this thing very quickly to you guys. You could have gone through menopause when God said, let there be light, and you're still alive. True. Once you are alive as a female, yeah. and a male, but we're talking about the females here, your hormones have to be balanced if yeah. they are not balanced you will not be balanced True. and that's the problem and that is the mistake though that is the issue we have done ellis now yeah. that why we have so many women who go in through these crises long and they go in yeah. long after yeah. we have a, I, there's a client that, that i dealt with i'll never forget this and this was a recent client when i say recent recent like um middle of last year end of last year this client came to us with ridiculous hypertension. It was ridiculous. 200 and something. I will never forget that. We were doing all sorts of, well, she was doing all sorts of things before they came to us. And she dealt with one of the consultants. I looked at the blood work. I reviewed certain things. And when I looked at it, I say, see this? I say, yeah, what? When you went through menopause, she said, bam, bam, whatever the case may be. I say, see this? This is PMS. She's a doctor said I went through that long time, that gone through the quick to watch me. I don't know why all this quick to, to show it up that part of the life. Part. Oh, but I stop doing it. No, 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 no. You're dead. No, you are like once you hear your hormones are very important. You know when we did the work on the hormones and the endocrine system, you know the blood pressure normalized. There was a next client we had. This was a, a, a more mature lady. Well, when I say more mature, like 68 something, she would experience drastic blood sugar dips during the day she would be having her normal meals she would get up she would have breakfast she would have a lunch she would have a snack she's having dinner but in the middle of the day all of a sudden sometimes 11 o'clock sometimes one o'clock her blood sugar she dizzy tired she has to go and lie down when she checked blood sugar 40. Hmm. Wow. that was happening for a while i said okay no problem she came she had brought thyroid test that type of thing i say see that 
That's PMS, you know. Same and same response, you know. Doctor was no, nah, no. Nah. I went through that long time. You know how long I done make sure, and I this, I that. Da, 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 da. You're dead? No, you're here. I said, all right, Miss Lady, you do it as I tell you to do. Listen to me. Hormones, endocrine system. Yeah. Next month, blood sugar, normal throughout the day. I think what people don't understand is mm -hmm. how much the endocrine system plays that you impact balancing yeah. everything. Everything it, is it's so important. Mm -hmm. Those hormones level and yeah. again, not because you will reach a particular age means that your hormones are not performing. As you it's as you as I don't know if you have heard it many times, but uh -huh. I have heard it many times in the office where where, where I work out of. Mm -hmm. Many times, uh, their health provider will tell. Uh, that yeah. after menopause, you don't have to worry about fibroid, you don't yeah. have to worry uh -huh. it doesn't say so because we have a high amount of persons even well after menopause having things like vaginal bleeding that is on and you think that after after yeah. menopause everything will everything be so it like that. Once you are alive, your hormones have to respond. Yeah, that exactly is how you so. that is the way your body responds. That is the way your body operates. Mm -hmm. And that will create balance. So it's fundamentally important to miss that is. Yes, definitely. Yeah. And just to reiterate, as you so rightfully mentioned, that's the core aspect of the human body, yeah. you know, to maintain homeostasis, Correct. balance. Disease is an indication of imbalance in the okay. body, you know. I always tell people that. Yeah. Your body's objective is always to maintain homeostasis, balance, equilibrium, whichever word you want to use. <laughs> it, its objective is to do that. Let me say a, a very special good morning to Miss Vidya Abdul. She says, morning, all late, with an exclamation mark, but I'm in the house. Good morning to you. Um, Miss Dan Daniela Jones says, good morning, Dr. Batsu. What do you recommend I use as a heavy metal detox to detox my two and a half year old who is not speaking okay ah what we're gonna have to do that that's gonna be definitely a consultation yeah. you're gonna need a consultation when that is concerned yeah, because, because, yeah a blood analysis a blood analysis well said like whereas to deal with that level of um especially a child of that age one of the things i i, I must add as well too before we go to um sky 99.5 and take some of your, your calls your questions is that you know children um check out or parents rather check out the silver or the mineral formula which we carry at batstan associates uh santulan yeah. uh that seven channel detox that cleans and detoxify kidney colon bloodstream liver lymphatic system skin and your lungs and most importantly even before all of that alcogen water because like we continue to strive and try to help persons to understand the importance of hydration Hydration is everything, you know. I, I, I had a misunderstanding with someone some, some time back and, and, and one of the things they said, I, I told them, I said, listen to me, quite frankly, you know, if we have a misunderstanding, we could agree to disagree and, you know, move on. Uh, I said, but what are the things I said, and maybe it was rude and I shouldn't have said it. I said, but listen, you're not oxygen, you're not water. So, I mean, you know, if, if we don't speak again, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't make any kind of issue. But the point I was making there is that hydration is so important that it affects every single thing in the body. So that is something. Check out our alkogen water as well. So, of course, we're going to... Um, let me just take Tamara Sullivan. Yes, she asked a question. If you get the chance on the show, can you tell me how to address asthma? I have stopped dairy. Try to stay away from dust. I am tired of the pumps and the other steroids. Okay, good. No problem. Uh, let me just say quickly, with asthma, this is why I tell people asthma is. Asthma is inflammation in your lungs. Now, inflammation in your lungs could turn into a number of things. And I have seen this because we have successfully treated persons. And never forget this client that we had in Tambigo some years ago that came with tuberculosis. And I put tuberculosis in inverted commas because when that lady came, she was on so much medication. I was almost annoyed to the point of almost being disgusted because of the amount of medication that she was taking. Because they were not only giving her the tuberculosis medication, but she was also taking steroids and she was also taking antibiotics. Oh. This lady used antibiotics for over a year. Now that's madness. Eh? And I believe that the use of the antibiotics is what actually caused the lungs to become so compromised that they eventually get got tuberculosis. Now, tuberculosis is very easy to get once you are in contact with someone who has that particular um, pathogen. It's very easy to pick up. And a lot of us come into contact with persons that who, it. yeah, that have it. Eh? Mm -hmm. it's, the, it's the immune, the strength of your immune system that determines whether you end up with tuberculosis or not. Right. Anyway, whole long and short of the story is that we have to do some changes. So I said, listen to me. 
What we're going to do, we're going to make some changes. When you go back to the clinic and the doctor asks you, tell them that you made some changes in your diet. We ain't going to lie to nobody. And look at what they said. Listen to me. In a matter of, I think a month or two months, they took her off of the medication. They had no other choice but to take her off of the medication because we started again after doing the blood analysis, understanding that whole biological terrain, understanding what was going on there in the that whole microbiome in the intestines. We fixed a number of things. Problem solved. So I'm saying all of that to say your immune system, people, is fundamental. The borders have been opened up a long time ago. We have people traveling, coming to and fro. Nothing brings viruses like people. <laughs> Nothing. Especially we know the time of year. We know coming up just now. Just now it's Christmas, right? Yeah, we have Thanksgiving. We have Christmas. A lot of people are going to be coming in the country. Then we have, right after that, carnival in our ways. A lot more persons coming. You have to protect that natural immunity. And if you want Batson Associates to help you do that, we have no problem with it. I'll allow Mr. Green to just give me telephone numbers and then we're going to go to my esteemed colleague in Sky 99.5 and we're going to take some questions. All right. So you can contact our worship owner's office at 222-8261. That is 222-8261. You can even contact our DB office. Uh, that number is 223-7515. And St. James, that is where I reside. Uh, <laughs> I like that. Is, you can contact inside. us there at two two zero eight one one three, and I'm more than happy to see you all. You know, we are in the we are in the business of providing optimum healthcare. Excellent. And not yeah. just that, letting you understand the importance of living healthy. It's not how a one time thing you pick Correct. up and you put down when you're ready. Mm -hmm. It has to be consistent. Mm -hmm. It has to be a lifestyle. Correct. So all of those offices here. That those are the number that I just listed to you. In fact, I didn't give you Tobago's uh, number. So Tobago's number is 226-4553. That is 226 4553. Thank you so very much for that. Let me say a pleasant good morning to Ms. Altia Owen Guerra, as well as Ms. Sherry Alexander. So, sir, the ball is in your court. All right. So the number to call 6252759 to get on to Dr. Batson and he is joined by Mr. Paul Green this morning and of course they are sharing some very interesting information on your immune system. Yeah. I know that's a very touchy issue for many people yeah, on perfect. different levels especially if you're traveling you're around children you have elderly people or it's an issue and and you want to keep it in tip-top shape also you can reach us via whatsapp at 333-9950 so we have like uh five questions already um someone says good day dr batson not to go off the topic too much but what is your view on taking omeprazole for bad feeling or weak stomach especially first thing in the morning how safe it is to use every day okay so um the key end question is uh would they ask about omeprazole um the thing with the thing with acid blockers and and stomach these types of medications are designed to coat the stomach um if you the thing is when you look at integrative medicine let me let me answer in this way you have five aspects of the body you have the spiritual body you have the supramental or the subconscious body, you have the mental or the conscious body, you have the vital or the energy body, and then you have the physical body. There is something known as downward causation, which means that the top bodies affect the lower body. So all the bodies to the top, spiritual, supramental, or subconscious, conscious or mental, vital or energy, affects the physical body, which is the last body. Good. Now the thing is, what you have to understand, when the physical body needs help, when it is an emergency, the physical body takes precedence, which means that medication or surgery has to be recommended or done, right? When you have left this, the part of the emergency, then you have to come to the fixing aspect where you have to deal or address with all the other bodies to the top. And that is where Baxter and Associates comes in. So as it relates to omeprazole, if you have a serious issue or you may be using very strong medication and you're given omeprazole, then you're going to have to use the medication because you are in a situation where the medication is necessary at that particular point in time. Let's fast forward a bit now. Let's say you come to Baxter and Associates, we do a blood analysis on you. And what we realize in the blood analysis, um, Mr. Green, which we will most likely see, that individual, we're going to see things like 
Rolo, which is where your blood cells stack on top of each other. We're going to see some erythrocyte aggregation, which is where your blood cells stick together, but in a different pattern, which both instances indicate lack of, lack of oxygen, lack of proper circulation, lack of proper digestion as well. Even the cells that are that, that, that uh, lemon Le uh, correct. Fit, uh, structure, it usually indicates some level of low enzymes, uh, and those things are very impactful on terms of your digestion. Good. And, and things like actually plus is fundamentally a digestion problem. Correct. Well, one of the things that I find was very interesting, what you said, Dr. Baxter, is uh -huh. that the uses of the medication, it might be necessary in a given instance. But I don't, we, we won't agree with you using something like omniprazole for extended period of exactly. time. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. five months a yeah. year. Uh -huh. exactly. You absolutely have a digestion problem and you're yes. fixing it by the use of the omniprazole. Correct. And I guess that's the point you really put it out there. Exactly. Yeah. Because what you have to do is deal again when you root cause of the problem. Correct. Because remember, when you deal with things like um, acid blockers, you, you have other side effects to deal with your problems with your eyes, you have problems with bleeding in your stomach, you have problems where you interfere with the, that microbiome, you interfere with the the um, environment in the intestines. Remember, 70% of your immune system lies in your Correct. gut. Yeah. We don't have to be mathematics mathematicians um, but you understand that is a high percentage so if if the, if the body is telling you the body is speaking to you and saying hey i feel you have good you know which is gastrointestinal reflux disease or it might be telling you you have some bloating so it means that not everything is not balanced there you, you don't have proper digestion where your food is concerned the body is telling you you need to fix it yeah. So when you come to Baxter and Associates, one of the things we do, and that's why we say everyone who comes to Baxter and Associates, at some point in time, you have to do a blood analysis and a magnetic resonance analysis scan. You could bring the whole hospital for me, a discharge summary, everything. Good, okay. fine. Okay. I have no problem with that. We want to see that blood because your blood, my blood, Mr. Green blood, anybody's blood that you examine, as much as we are the same, we are essentially different. And it is very important that we get to, as you know, the old people are saying, you get to the nitty gritty of the thing. Yeah. That is when we do that blood analysis that we actually able to get to the nitty gritty and actually able to help you. So omeprazole temporarily, no problem. For extended, extended, you seem to seek help. You need to seek help because you have to start to deal with your root cause of the problem. One of the things I, I will maybe like to even interject here. Uh -huh. Now, even with cases of actually flop or good, as you just mentioned, a lot of the time you have to look at the liver. The Correct. liver is the organ that produces bile. Correct. And that bile is then stored in your gallbladder. Correct. In many instances, when you have a overproduction of bile, it's very common for you to have that burning, that sour is coming back to the mouth. Mm -hmm. But again, um, the is just short of suppressing that acid in the stomach. Correct. But your, your, your focal point really should be the liver. Because your liver is now either overperforming or underperforming. Correct. And the liver is so important because there's so much different function and so much different activities and things you're responsible for Good. that you just don't want to be getting comfortable with saying, hey, I have actually flux and this next year more this is always working for me well. Mm -hmm. If not, it's absolutely not. So we need to find the root cause of the problem. And many instances, it's the liver we have to kind of focus on. Definitely, definitely. Next question, sir. Next question. Um, I mean the thing is once you look empty stomach to me is 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 your objective. Uh, what is an empty stomach? I tell people anything between um 45 minutes to an hour before a meal, two hours, two and a half hours after a meal, right? So it means that uh, in, in a case like that now, you actually get it to go through the system and do what it needs to do. So empty stomach, which is either an hour before, two and a half hours after. Okay. What friend? So I'm like, yeah, exactly. The thing is, when it, most of the time ringing in the ears or what is medically termed as vertigo, um, could, could have a number of reasons. Yeah. In some instances, because I, I have seen in instances where it was a situation with build up of air wax in mm -hmm. one of the air, whether it's on the right side or the left side, and that caused that problem because you know your balance, um, your That's air plays a significant role in your balance. However, most of the time that is not the case. A lot of times what I have found, it has a lot to do with poor circulation in the brain. Now, if you really understand anatomy and physiology and you understand 
how your sinuses are made up in the um in, in in this aspect of the brain and how the entire circulatory system is is um made up in the um in the brain or what is known as a cerebrovascular a lot of persons do not have proper circulation you're missing so some people people who have a lot of sinus for example you do not get proper oxygen you do not breathe properly if, if, if you are an asthma patient tuberculosis bronchitis any lung problem you do not breathe properly and breathing people don't understand how important deep breathing is eh? and, and and how important it is to really breathe and breathe from you know i tell people you have to breathe from your navel or you breathe from your diaphragm those deep breaths very important and and it has scientifically been proven that people who do deep breathing have actually um helped significantly in improving their standard of health eh? significantly it has helped with cardiovascular problems respiratory problems even problems associated with um different imbalances in different parts of the body um arthritis and those type of things because of how important oxygen is to the, the brain and oxygen is to the body so if you're having a disease situation it could very well be a problem with lack of blood flow to the brain some aspect of it and of course the blood analysis and the magnetic resonance analysis can really gives us the opportunity to really give you that information let me say a pleasant good morning to miss pearl Passad. um good morning um to you my dear miss rose rose dia no yes rose dial miss kamla samaru she says doc i want to get my live blood analysis blood analysis test done uh what any update on the opening for of the new office yeah 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 don't worry you need or only might have a, a month to tolerate us again but we're working assiduously on that right um and tamara sullivan says i do wake up in the middle of the night with numb fingers that feel swollen well tamara you need to give us a visit you need need to give us a visit so very quickly again those telephone numbers and locations um for the shagona's office that number is triple two eight two six one that's triple two eight two six one of course remember daily that day the saturday the 28th of october at our daily office which is located at the corner of Ramsa Mooch Trace and the SS Erie Main Road in Davy. So all those of you in Separia, all those of you in Barakpo, Pinal, Pinal yeah. the 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 that Barak, you know Barakpo is the diabetic capital and the oh, I don't want to say the world, the diabetic capital of Trinidad, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have the highest percentage of diabetics in that part of the country, Barakpo, Davy, Pinal. So you know this health symposium is for you guys. Take advantage of it. You may be here in Batsdale Associates for a while. You might wonder, I wonder if it is these people can help me. Because, you know, we may have spoken about a number of different diseases. And we have, what, over 55,000. I think it must reach like 65,000 named diseases. And we may not have spoken about all of them. But believe me, we could render some assistance in every aspect because of the way we do the work that we do. And many times they need Dr. Matson, they are basically branches of bigger problems. Precise. So so while they have well so said. many name diseases, yeah. when you look at them, yeah. it's simplify it's really simple things. So you are looking at your gut, you're looking at your circulation. Correct. Because think of diseases like um a tree with branches. Correct. You okay. those branches are basically symptomology that is given the names of diseases. Exactly. But ready to fix them. A lot of times it's the simple things you need to do and look at health from a holistic perspective. Well said. Yeah. Well said. Next question, sir. <laughs> oh, they need some help. Oh, yes, yes, I know. Tobago, you think it's Tobago? Is is, is we, we will be getting to Tobago this month? Right, Tobago had we had some interesting ups, ups and downs in Tobago. Well, you all know what happened when we had the situation with the boat and whatever the case may be, and then there are some other things that we're dealing with. But Tobago, we have not left you out, and we are going to ensure that we make up. Because we, if it's one thing we're very good at doing is making up. So we're going to ensure that we make up. Let me say a pleasant good morning to Latoya out there in Tobago, who always does an excellent job. So Tobago, we, we have not forsaken you. Believe me, we have not. We're just dotting our I's and crossing our T's with some things. And we ensure that Tobago is going to get the... Uh, in fact, Trinidad might, might start a course on us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me just say that. Let me just say that. Yeah, you see, Mr. Green has won. <laughs> So, so I will just leave it and let you know that we are going to make up. And when we make Absolutely. up, we make up very well. Yeah. Okay, next question, sir. Mm -hmm. 
That's an interesting question. I, I don't want to be. I, put I, I tried. I, I put it before. But 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 is is it a matter of, of of eating too quickly? You know, taking away you know, eating. I don't know. Maybe know, but... maybe one of the things maybe that person should probably look at is if within recent time they notice any increase in weight. Right. So maybe if if, if they can respond to that uh -huh. because I've seen. I've heard this complaint before, right. and in, in certain when I've seen it, it's because within that space of time, person have been putting on weight, that 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 uh, one of the things that they fed happened while they they, they were eating, yeah. having that consistent biting at the inside of their of their of their cheek. Yes, so yes. You probably look at their weight and see if the weight have been increasing within recent times. Good, good, yeah, yeah, because that is um you know something that you need to pay very close attention. I mean, that's concern. I'd be very uncomfortable eh, because yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, it is. Yeah, uh, that's quite painful. That is quite painful. very, very, yeah, very, very yeah, painful. Yeah. Um, Miss Frederica Joseph says, Doctor Batson, do you have nerve restore at Shagona's branch? Yes, we do. We have nerve restore in stock. Mister Mara, yeah, Sullivan says, I hope when I come to visit, I can personally see you and appreciate that. No offense <laughs> to your other staff, and she puts LOL. <laughs> We are not taking right up. And and there are specific days that Dr. Watson tries to make himself available. Keep in mind those that those days are becoming limited. Uh simply because uh, not a matter that Dr. Watson wants doesn't want to do his job, but because of the amount of work that we have now, the amount of in, in fact I, I I don't even want to talk soon. Some um but you're from South, South, uh, South, a certain part of South America and a certain part of the Caribbean already start making demands <laughs> that they need to see us next year. So, you know, it's just a matter of us being able to help more people. And, you know, um, the, the good thing about it is that we have a system in place eh? and, and this system is a system 14 years in the making. So, I mean, we, we I always believe in betterment. I, I always live by the words, you could always better your best. And I, I believe that is in any aspect of your life, whether it's spiritually, financially, emotionally, all Ali, right? You could always better your best. And at Batson and Associates, that's something we continually strive to do with our consultants, you know, the very competent Mr. Paul Green, as you'll see that I have here with me. Um, when we had um, my my other colleague, Mr. Stefan Vialva, quite competent, Ms. Karishma Ramdad, Mr. Rene Bustamante, and even the, 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 the front desk staff that we have now, um, you know, let me say a pleasant good morning to Ms. Eleanor and Ms. Roma, who are, you know, are, you know, the old school. And the reason why I keep old school people is wrong is because old, old school people just that, the old school. Yeah. So they're very thorough, they pay attention to detail, they're very customer service oriented, you know, and that is something that we continually strive to improve because we interacting with people, you know, once in a while we're going to rub each other the wrong way. And that's, you know, because of idiosyncrasies or those shortcomings that all human beings have. But generally, you know, it is an, our objective is to be as professional, effective and efficient as possible. And most importantly, to give you the results that you came to get. And when Dr. Batson says he's not in the politics of medicine, there's a reason for that. I am not into I don't like too much old talk, you know. Yeah, but I say this man who just talk for a living, he's talk so much he don't like old talk. But it's the Thank old you. talk I don't like. You okay. come in for a specific objective. Okay. One of the things that we say quickly too, and this is because some of the clients that we get, they have to understand, as Mr. Green so eloquently put it a while ago, he said, he spoke about two things, consistency and discipline. About being consistent. It's not just a shortcut. You come in, you jump up, you ding, you ding, you ding, and then you're gone. Because people do that. Human beings have a tendency when they start to feel good. And when you come to Batson and Associates, you start to feel good. It's like the God clear now. Oh, God, I get away. According to the, according to the people, then you let go. <laughs> You understand? So that is something you need to be careful of. And what you also need to be careful is you need to have a little bit of patience. And let me explain that quickly. Eh? We get results to people in record time. Eh? Mr. Green can sit down. He can attest to that. We have testimonies on top of testimonies. Get it more. Just recently, I had a client. She has to give me a testimony with Santula. And of course, I would not call her name, but she used the Santula. And an exceptional problem, exceptionally good results. So the thing is, you're going to get the results. But what a lot of people do not understand is the magnitude of their problem and they don't understand how sick they really are. Yeah, and the time it will take. And the time it will take. Some of you, listen to me, you come, because the reason is at Batson and Associates, and I'm not criticizing any other institution, we do not mince words, me especially, Mr. Green said, I can tell you, I don't mince words with people. I don't have time for that. I will let you know how sick you are but I will let you know how you can get better. But the problem with a lot of y'all is because you're going to a lot of doctors and they didn't explain True. the way we explain it. Because you are essentially dying. If it is you have urine, 
not urine, sorry. If you have protein in your urine, urine. Yeah. if you have yeah. blood in your urine, listen to me, you are dying. <laughs> You're dying, 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 dying. You're just almost dead. That kidney is such an integral form. Exactly. Yeah. And the thing is, why you think how much people end up on dialysis now? Yeah. All you think is because, no, because you want all you don't mind all your business. And two, you'll take your health for granted too much. Especially men, I would say, oh, especially men who are diabetic. You all play the fool. You think, I don't know if you all have a particular contract with Almighty God. That's between you all and him, of course. You got the nonsense all it is be doing. I feel all in figure all you have about 900 lives. It don't work so. It doesn't work like that. When your feet is swelling, you are dying. I tell you that. You're dying. It's just a matter of time. You know? And people need to understand that when you're sick, understand the magnitude of how sick you are because you see the difference with integrated medicine as opposed to western medicine they will always tell you two things you know? they will tell you that there is no cure or there is no way to correct the problem that you have and they will also tell you that you can eat what you want yeah. both is rubbish terrible. and a terrible 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 um what, what to call that advice yeah. it is atrocious and not just that, Doctor. Uh -huh. Remember, persons are so dependent on their healthcare provider. Yeah. So, what is said to them, a lot of the time they take it as fact. Oh, they, good take fact. That, they take it as gospel. Yeah, yeah. Without <laughs> even exploring the option. option that is available for health, That's there's it. always alternative um, health or alternative service available for health. It's just being able to become educated, and that is one of the main reasons why these programs are done. So that we educate you, understanding that hey. You have diabetes, but it doesn't mean that you have to keep diabetes. You exactly. have the opportunity to get over that through the means of natural and integrated medicine. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. And, and in addition to don't that, become, don't, become, don't become comfortable. At complacent. All. Yeah, yeah. Complacent, I think, is the word. Because, uh, and especially men with diabetes. And I say this because we know women statistically live longer than men. And that's not because they, they kill us. I worry you to death. But <laughs> <laughs> the reason for that is because women naturally yeah. more prudent when yeah. coming to their health. Yeah, Men, you are a diabetic. Pay attention to yourself. Nothing I think is more embarrassing and hurtful for a male when you cannot perform as a male. And that is not trying to raise a Pandora's box there. But when you have diabetes, men, you behave as... A, you see, things. what you have to understand is that there are rules to your body, you know. There are rules. There are specific rules to the human body. Just like I, I always use the example with gravity. Gravity is a rule. Gravity is a... In fact, it's not even a rule. It is a law. Regardless of how intelligent you are, how strong you are, how whatever you change are, not. change not. If you go and run off a building and think you have wings and flap, they're going to scrape you off a pavement because, well, you, you, you might be missing the models, might be missing somebody. And that's not to be facetious in any way, but it's just to show you that there are rules. Yes. So hydration is a rule, you know. Dr. Martin, then decide to come on the radio and tell all you to drink water because you feel to sell alkaline water. Hydration is a rule and a requirement of the human body that Western medical practitioners don't even understand. Anytime you go to a doctor and the doctor doesn't ask you how much time you go to the washroom, what are you eating and how much water you're drinking, run out of the eye tell you so. Run. Because they do not know what they are doing. Because those are the fundamentals. Those are the basics. When we went to school in maths and when you learned it, where's the first thing they teach you to learn as a child? Some point in time you are able to spell and write your name and pronounce your name. There are the basic aspects. Mathematics, you learn to count. Basic, basic, basic. When coming to your health, you don't understand the basic. Yeah. And then you're sick and you wonder why you're sick. And then you're sick for 20 years and balling. But I have a hereditary disease. My sister, cousin, mother, plant, dog had arthritis. So I get it. Really? Really? Mm -mm. I, I, is, that, is that a dumb thing? I get somebody upset. <laughs> <laughs> and as always, tell all you, if it is all you don't have a problem listening to me, you know, you think we can agree to disagree. Nonsense is nonsense and nonsense is just that. Wow. And Dr. Batsu would not change that approach. Some people may have an issue with it, but at the end of the day, you come to get help. You want to come into our organization and stay with us, what, for 10 years? You want us to take your money for 10 years? For you to go and tell people bandit, I bandit, and I went there for 10 years, I sick 10 years. You just go other places and do that and don't complain, you know, but that is all right. That's not a problem. Okay? Over to you, sir. Question? Thank you.
<laughs> Go again with our question. Ooh, so that could be a number of things. I always tell people, so when you get in pain and discomfort, pain is an indication that something is wrong. When you have muscular skeletal pain, when you have structural pain, so like in a case like that, where you have things like rib cage, diaphragm, spine, and that kind of thing, it's always good to have yourself checked with some sort of, whether you do CT scan, MRIs, you do ultrasounds, you do x-rays, those type of things. You sometimes go back in your memory and determine if you have any issue associated with um with imbalance in like you would have fallen yeah. or you may have been in a vehicular accident the thing is people fall and forget they fall at all and then those of you who may have done kickboxing in your earlier years and think you might have been in a fight and you know you may have gotten a bad lash um and no and that's a serious thing because i remember speaking to um and, and and this is not to you know go into a dark place but even people in cases of domestic violence and that kind of thing you may have been hitting your head you may have fallen down you may have been and the thing is you have you may have left it and then later on in life it may have that may have caused inflammation that was left unchecked and then you have a situation there so that's something to also pay very close attention to but what i what i would recommend and i always tell persons that when i was with um our colleague uh on thursday um for our last program with mr vialva one of the things i was helping persons to understand is that when you have a structural problem so if you have rheumatoid arthritis osteoarthritis psoriatic arthritis you have some sort of muscular skeletal problem you have to do the physical manipulation which is like the physiotherapy chiropractic work but you also have to do it simultaneously with the nutritional therapy reducing inflammation correct reducing inflammation strengthening the bones putting back those minerals um, improving the gastrointestinal system where you're actually now able to bring back balance and actually bring um proper assimilation proper digestion that's very very important good um next question sir Mm, I love this question. I love it. Not surprised. Not surprised, and I don't mean that in any right. rude way. What 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 you experience is what happens to a lot of persons. Yeah. What the body is, your body is so inflammatory mm -hmm. that the inflammation in the body now. So your body is now a perfect conduit for disease. Mm -hmm. It means that internal environment is now conducive to sickness. So what we need to do is change that entire internal environment. So I suggest the, the best advice I could give you, you need to give back to associates a visit. Yeah. Yeah. You have to come to the office. That's come to the office, organize to do your blood analysis, your magnetic resonance analysis, can get your consultation. And then we'll be able to now work with you from there um, and really understand. And, and that's one of the things I was, um, you know, as Mr. Green would bear out here with me. We, when we see what we see, and when we actually explain in layman terms to the client who's in front of us, they really now understand for themselves from a visual aspect of perception. Hey, now nah boy, something wrong there. You don't have to be a biology student to see a blood analysis and realize when you see good blood and bad blood. Yeah. Because some, I remember someone asked me, so what, what good blood supposed to, to look like? I said, well, you see, look, you're seeing something look like a crater, eh? <laughs> look at how... What, what did that look like a piece of metal they said that's like an infected, infected. so so you, i mean common sense made before book but anyone could look and realize no 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 wait wait something wrong that is that is looking normal that is looking normal because if you see blood cells and i was explaining this after recently we are saying remember the reason why your red blood cells are concave in 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 in, in it's shape. their shape sure, sure. is because to utilize or take advantage of something known as surface area to volume ratio. Mm -hmm. That's how the body does your villi. The villi which lines the intestines is fine hairs in them. The reason why they are fine hairs is because hairs have a higher surface area to volume ratio. So the thing is, when you compromise that, your digestion, so you eat in there, people walking around who eat every day and your food is not being digested in them. And you're basically creating inflammatory bowel conditions. Cancer, never starts as cancer 
do you know if you and, and this is something uh mr green you will be a mute here with if you're in retrocyte sedimentation ratio which we know measures mm -hmm. inflammation in the body yeah. Do you know that if your erythrocyte sedimentation ratio is over 100, you are a perfect candidate for cancer? If your ESR is over 100, you are a perfect candidate for cancer. In fact, they would have to send you to do the C, CA125 uh, um, and those all other, cancer all those cancer marker tests yeah. because of the level of inflammatory response. Why? Because as we've been saying all the time, inflammation creates an environment that is conducive to disease you all realize now we don't have people with with stage one cancer and stage or ever hear anybody has stage one cancer i know somebody was coming to baptism associates and that was the diagnosis again and i strongly believe and they themselves bear me out and even the doctor that they went to told them that based on what they were doing that is why the diagnosis was like that and they were actually able to get help early and the probably person is actually cancer free now so it, it, it goes to show that sickness is always cumulative or progressive. You don't get sick in one day. You don't become a diabetic. Yeah. Oh, you don't end up an amputee. You don't end up blind. You don't just end up blind. You're blind. You can't see. You're blind. You, you came into this world with vision and sight. And now you cannot see your children, your grandchildren. That, that, that is a hard reality. Scary it's, it's a scary thought. It's a scary thought. And it all comes back again to taking care of yourself so again give us a call keep in mind those dates the saturday the 28th of october all roads lead to Debe or Debe office that's the corner of ramson wood Trace and the ss erin main road in Debe. that telephone number again 223-7515 that's 223-7515 you're listening to dr jason batson the senior medical director at batson associates i'm joined by my esteemed and quite a competent colleague, Mr. Paul Jabari Green, <laughs> who is one of our senior consultants and blood senior blood microscopist at Batson and Associates. So give us the opportunity to help you yeah. help yourself. That's all we ask for, Susan. Well. Give us the opportunity to help you to help yourself. And that is what you need to do. So over to you. fly went into the person's air and now it's starting to pain my question is did the fly come out no based on what they say no you need to go and check that you need to go to you need to go to you need to, you need to go to the, to the doctor or the hospital or something like that is a fly you're talking about you know i i'm i'm not sure he or she i'm not sure he, i'm not sure he or she is still alive <laughs> and then is in the air so that's a serious serious you need to go and get that scene about yeah you that need to find carry so much pathogens. yeah exactly and, and going into the air you know run the chance of yeah run the chance you get a infection a, yeah 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 and that could you know that is that's serious you need to go and see about that immediately if not before immediately go and see about that yeah. that has to be um seriously um taken care of next question yeah <laughs> if it's like okay <laughs> yeah we live today man we live today we live today uh so if they ask us yes go ahead and ask the questions or they'll, they'll, they'll do us what you all are accustomed to just wait until the program very close to end and then we get inundated with questions so take advantage of it as i said i have my esteemed colleague here with me mr paul green our uh very seasoned blood microscopist and senior medical consultant holding the the, the holding only fort on st james it's a certain point in time when i go to st james they don't ask they don't see, ask to see me again it's run me you know they say no we have to start green now get dr back so we don't want to see you again because you could stay up the road stay up sugar <laughs> but you know um is is all in 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 in, in good um seems, steel, to yeah to be able to help and, and and to give you so whether your problem so someone asked a question on ms multiple sclerosis and let me just touch quickly autoimmune conditions will continue to always be difficult conditions to deal with yeah. difficult but not impossible lupus difficult but not impossible what persons who have autoimmune conditions need to understand is that your body has reached a stage where your body is almost going against itself it's fighting itself, it's fighting itself. 
And that should just help you to understand how important it is to really buckle down, mind your business, and start to take care of yourself. Because, sorry. It, it takes again to where our competition first started. Uh -huh. Immune. Right. When you're looking at autoimmune diseases and, mm. and your body's now attacking itself, it has everything to do with your immune system that is being overactive. Correct. So again, it really brings back in perspective what we started speaking about for this about the importance of having a balanced immune system to deal with things like MS and lupus and other cyber things. Definitely. So so that is something that you need again, as I mentioned, to take clear. Get that clear in your mind. Auto intoxication. Yeah. Let me just touch on this quick. Mm -hmm. The prefix auto stands for self. Intoxication stands for what? Poison. Mm -hmm. Self poisoning. Self poisoning. If you are an autoimmune patient, your body is all you're doing is auto. This is what's going on. It's a circle. And until you break that cycle, you will always, always, always be sick always when you understand anatomy and physiology when you understand how the body functions autoimmune conditions are not hard to fix see what i'm telling you but it requires work somebody some of you you're so toxic because listen to me talk do you know that toxins hide in the body do you know that pathogens hide in the body for years yeah, they themselves. Yeah. fat yeah. visceral fat is known as what organ fat do you know what is stored in organ fat do you know what is stored in fat itself not subcutaneous fat fat so there are a lot of persons who are walking around and they may have situations with obesity you have a belly that refuse to go you may have ladies you might have problems with stretch marks you have problems with um especially by your hips your buttocks there and that kind of thing what do you think that is that is toxins that hide in those tissues because the body cannot deal with it. So what the body does, the body pushes it in a corner there. Because the body has to find a way to save your life. The body is always self-sustaining. It is always self-regulating. Remember what we were speaking about in the beginning? Balance. Equilibrium. And once the body is out of equilibrium, you're going to have problems. When your visceral fat is high, do you know that visceral fat kills you while you are asleep? Do you know what is inflammatory chemicals? There's something known as prostaglandins. If you research that, there's something known as cytokines. Those chemicals poison you while you sleep at night. So you see? So that's why I tell you, a lot of people, they're sick, but they don't understand how and why they're sick. And they must be trying to so say, oh God, that is giving you real information. The reason why we're giving you information, do you think you're not able, to, you wouldn't be able to take better care of yourself if you, if you, or make better decisions if you are? What? informed the people who want to believe or be the proverbial, the proverbial ostrich where you push your head in the side and you're not seeing anything around you so you think that they have no danger yeah that's madness that's mad you know there are people who say i don't want to know what's wrong with me okay good you don't want to know eventually what wrong with you will let you know you will know you'll find out that's why cancer now people get what stage four stage five cancer all right josie smith a pleasant good uh morning uh what's recommend or i guess the other is what is recommended for glaucoma glaucoma we carry a eye drop called eye optics formula in fact we actually do a eye protocol at baxter associates for persons who may have challenges with their eyes glaucoma cataracts detached retina if you have problems with um beating the, the eyes inflammatory we get in more and more and and back to the, the initial aspect of the discussion where i was speaking about mr green um you know with poor cerebral vascular circulation is that is how you end up with glaucoma once you have proper circulation in the cerebral hemisphere your brain you can't end up with glaucoma what is glaucoma glaucoma is high ocular pressure you have two types of glaucoma open angle so depending on how the, the pressure in the eyes are you'll get either open angle or you get a close angle and we do have the eye optics formula is something that helps with that as well as we have additional products to assist with that as well so of course you can feel free to give us a call uh those telephone numbers again uh mr green if you just help me out there yeah? those numbers are uh, shake on us two 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 eight two six one that is two 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 eight two six one our daily contact number is two two three seven five one five st james you can get that as 220-8113 and our Tobago office where you will have the very kind Latoya there. She will get her there at 226-4553.
That's two two six four five five three. Great, great, great. Uh, let, before we go back to you, uh, so let me just, uh, Marina uh, is Glanville says, good morning, have a lot going on with my body. Dizziness, blackout, headaches, pain all over my body. I'm type 2 diabetic and I have high blood pressure. Uh, what well, the question I want to ask is if you're living in Trinidad, you just simply be, you, you need to give us a check out, man. You need to give us a check. And, and that is what I am saying and I'm ex explaining. When you reach a point where you just continually have sickness, just coming out of a sickness, out of a sickness, out of a sickness, and then doctors will tell you, we don't know what's wrong with you, you're complicated. No, you come back. So that's, I will tell you, we'll tell you what's wrong with you. You know, not like no complicated. Auto intoxication. You are? I strongly suggest you give us a visit. I don't know which I don't know which location you, you are at. You, you were going to say something, Mr. Green? Yeah, with that particular client's question or this particular viewer question, I'm dealing with type 2 diabetes and hypertensive. Mm -hmm. uh, but she complained about dizziness. She mm -hmm. complained about blackouts, yeah. headaches. And all of that have a fundamental similarity, which is post circulation. Mm -hmm. Remember blood? Circulation is the movement of blood through all the entire body. Mm -hmm. Your red blood cells have something called hemoglobin that allow oxygen to be delivered to the cerebral hemisphere. Right. So when you have a problem with circulation or poor circulation, it means that you're not going to have enough oxygen going towards the cerebral hemisphere. Right. Which will things like cause things like sleepy you. So you may have issues related to insomnia. You may have headaches, like that, in this dizziness. All of those things. While you're dealing with diabetes, you're also having a bigger problem, which is uh -huh. poor circulation that is affecting holistically the body. And those symptoms that you just listed here are quite common things we see, especially when we do the blood analysis tests. You know, Dr. Barton, um, oh. re recently I remember seeing, I took off a sample of a client. Right. And that maybe was the worst level of rollo and erythrocyte aggregation that I saw. I see some and blood, we're talking about some blood in my yeah, life. <laughs> crazy stacking, crazy stacking, and you're wondering why I'm feeling so weak, why I'm feeling so tired. Obviously, mm. we have to look at circulation. Yeah. And it's only when we are able to get those cells dispersed and really streaming the way they're supposed to, and you're now able to deliver oxygen the way they're supposed to, then you will notice that those symptoms slowly but surely going away. Definitely, yeah. definitely. So well said. Uh, let me just um quickly answer sue jeremiah she says excellent day fellas are you shipping to the u.s yet yes we are Absolutely. yeah we ship into the u.s man so what you can do you can um call the telephone number uh 868-373-2388 again that's 868-373-2388 in fact i don't want to give it away we have we actually have um some surprises coming up guys um of course we'll have the end of this month and then uh by the end of the year we'll have some other things put in place for our international clients even on a, on a grander scale so it's going to make our life easier and your life even more easy you know and uh, that of course always helps right uh chris howell says good morning doctor can you tell me what can cause blue reddish blue oh yeah blue black reddish. blue black reddish bruising behind the right thigh there is no pain or swelling or anything. That could be a sign of poor circulation. Um, th there is a test known as of oh, the number again. I I'm gonna give you the number just now, um, Sue. Um, there are tests that you can do on the legs, like for example, a Doppler, yeah. to determine if there is some sort of situation with 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 a clot or any venous um, thrombus or anything like that. Uh, that is always recommended because we find more and more people have issues associated with um, with poor circulation. So definitely a poor circulation um, situation. That number again, uh, Sue, is 868-Trinidad area code and telephone number 373-2388. Again, 868-373-2388. Yeah. Over to you, sir. If someone is true, the, the thing is, persons who have, who, who bite them get gums, or persons who have, because this is something that I'm seeing more and more again, Mr. Green, where you see persons having these situations associated um, with uh, almost uh, involuntary movement where you, you find you're, you're actually biting your gums or your arm, um, you're, you're grinding your teeth. Um, you know, 
long time when we grind, you know, our teeth, the first thing they used to tell you is that you need a woman. Yeah, 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 yeah. right? That's what he thinks my, my great grandmother and them used to be saying. Um, the thing is, there is some truth to that because pathogens have the ability to create serious issues in the body. I am always mindful of pathogens, which is why my work with blood analysis is so um concentrated and I believe in doing blood analysis on anyone. I mean, um, a, a blood analysis um consultant blood microscopist makes a doctor look very good enough because they literally figure out a number of things that is wrong with the person it's just a matter to fix the patient after that you know um yeah and because it really gives you so much information so that is something that i would suggest that you um you look out or, or have us do for you um let me of course keep in mind too as well that you know when you you look at the body again and deal with it from its entirety which is what we do at max and associates you're going to get the results that you're looking for so give us that opportunity to actually help you okay um miss marina uh, says i will come and see you in st james okay good no problem so again that number for st james is 220 that's 220 220-8113 Keep in mind, Tobago is the corner, is a triangle building in Scarborough, Tobago. That telephone number, 226-4553. That's 226-4553. And again, for the international consult, um, client, sorry, that telephone number is 868-373-2388. Okay, uh, over to you, sir. Question? <laughs> Each seizure in two minutes of time, and any seizures in medical condition before. Definitely agree with the EEG. Um, because that of course is gonna give give some indication in terms of um various aspects where they could actually now locate different uh situations or, or different aspects associated with the central nervous system when you're looking at and, and i like this question because this is something that is happening to a lot of persons now and you have to take into consideration again based on the discussion that we're having we spoke about pathogens pathogens have the ability to wreak havoc on the human body think about it when you have pathogens so we're talking about bacteria virus fungus protozoa we were speaking about covid at the beginning you all saw what covid did right that's just one example imagine something like so it may not be as dangerous but it's troublesome and left there so imagine candida which is a fungus now keep in mind when you have pathogens in the body you would not have one pathogen or two pathogen you would not have millions you would not have billions the possibilities exist you could have what trillions all living organisms do what eat and they excrete, excrete. Yeah. so you could imagine trillions of organisms in your body and they literally stealing all your nutrients and then excreting in your blood think about it just just get a visual on what that is that is what going to give you when people have pain rheumatoid arthritis is parasite in your bones if you never hear that yet that is what rheumatoid arthritis is if you don't believe me go and research it how does parasite get into your bones? But think about it. If parasites or pathogens are in your bones, so they're in a place where they're not supposed to be, what your bones going to do? What your immune system going to do? It's going to fight it, right? So it means now that you have to, again, deal with it from a holistic, that whole integrative perspective. Check out the Santulan. Excuse me. Keep in mind that, again, Santulan being a seven-channel detox, cleans that detoxify kidney, colon, bloodstream, liver, lymphatic system, skin, and your lungs but what you have to also take into consideration is that your hydration how much water do you drink you're showing me something mr green yeah this was <laughs> the but, uh, they asked i have started to use uh no uh good day doctor if this comes new right good day, doctors what causes pain at the back of the heel and sensitive to touch okay what causes uh the thing is if you have it may not be a heel spur yet, but it, it looks like yeah, heel it, it are developing heel spur. Uh, and, <coughs> excuse me, heel spurs we know is an indication of calcium deposit. Calcium deposit is also an indication of excess acid 
which actually causes the calcium deposit yeah. in the yeah. first place. Yeah. So that's something that you really need to pay very, very close attention. What, what I've been thinking about is probably like that plant. And <laughs> all these, how heavy do they consume things like milk, butter, cheese, those high calcium coating foods? Right. Uh, okay, give us some indications on that. Definitely. Yeah. Um, let me also. There was some. There was a question I saw there. Yeah. yeah higher up. Um, good morning, Doctor Batsu. What do you recommend for a doctor? <laughs> That pro promise you sand to land slim since Noah built the ark. Okay. You? I know that. We are telling you. I actually think I know this client. Uh, I, I maybe know this client. Yeah, I think I know that client too. <laughs> what, what I can tell you is, is, is the doctor keeps his promises, but you know, he's, he's having one or two setbacks. Don't worry. Sand to land slim and a few other slims coming just now, man. Don't worry on yourself. <laughs> All right. Um, so over to you again, sir. Any more questions? Yes. Okay. Yeah, thanks, <coughs> go, go over that one more time for me. I didn't hear the, the first, first part. Sorry about that. Okay, uh, that could be a number of things. It, it could be the position in which you sleep. That could be um, something that you may need to look at. It could also be um, dehydration, I believe. You guys, uh, if, if the question was, um, they, they tend when they get up in the morning to, to be very stiff. The stomach tends to be very stiff. Right. And it's only after they get up and they start to move about, then they feel some sort of relief. They say it, it makes it's actually difficult to move around because of it. So I was saying, it could be the position in which the person sleeps, one. Uh, it could also be a, a matter of hydration because a lot of persons who find that their stomach tends to be very hard, very stiff, um, usually are persons who have problems with uh, abdomen, um, uh, intestinal problems, so sometimes constipation, sometimes um, things like IBS, IBS, IBS. erectile bowel syndrome, problems associated even with, um, with bloating and gas. So a lot of times you actually have indigestion problems or problems with indigestion that could actually cause that very stiff and hard feeling. So I would look at hydration first and foremost. We know the rule for drinking water is your body weight divided by two in ounces. And of course, one of the things that you could um, actually look at as well is the alkogen water. Uh, Santulan is something that you can use, look at as well. Uh, we also, uh, as it relates to even dealing with leaky gut, for example, a lot of persons have serious leaky gut situations where that protein, um, the, the, that wall there, actually it, 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 it becomes very yeah. porous, yeah. over porous, and it, it has very large holes and you have pathogens that would not have had the ability to pass, that now have the ability to pass. It's easy access. Easy access, and these fellas are then going to go and cause problems because they are basically pathogens in places that they have the right to be one. And two, pathogens have to adapt. So if you take them now and they've actually placed them in a hostile environment, what do you think they're going to be? Yeah, come out here, they come out with the Bible and preach to people. Yeah, so that's, well, they <laughs> yeah they come and preach and talk to nobody, they're going to survive. Whatever they have to do to survive in that environment, they are going to do it, which includes stealing your nutrients and going to live in places where they have no right to be. Yeah. Okay, that's something that you need to pay very, very close attention to. Uh, let me look at a question from June Eastman. It says, good, good night, Dr. Baxter. I have type 1 uh, diabetes mellitus and have water to the back of my eye. What can be used for this? You have water at the back of your eye. Okay, well, the thing is, if you have anything at the back of the eye, I would, I, I would be imagining a fluid, which is a sign of inflammation. Uh, definitely the eye optics formula is something that you should um, look at uh, the IT looks pretty well too. Yeah, the IT as well. And in addition to that too, even when you're dealing with diabetes, you know, even diabetes is complex but very simple. Okay. Um, especially type 1 diabetes, because I tell persons with diabetes, you just have to put in the work long enough and you'll get the results that you want to do. Mm -hmm. That's essentially what it is. The problem is most people do not put in the work long, especially the men, don't put in the work long enough because they want a shortcuts. And we know shortcuts do not 
work. And is that not sustainable? Well, correct. Yeah. That is said, not sustainable. Okay. So uh, again, keep in mind the uh, those telephone numbers and locations. Of course, we are live on our social media platforms. Do not forget that we are Batson Associates Limited on Facebook. On Instagram, we are Batson Associates TT. On YouTube, we are Batson Associates Trinidad. And on TikTok, we are Batson and Associates. So feel free to follow us, add us. Uh, we have that promotion that we are having. Keep in mind, the 28th of October, that's a Saturday, Saturday, the 28th of October, at our Debe office, all roads lead to Debe. That telephone number again, that you can call and get yourself listed, uh, is 223-7515. That's 223-7515. And of course, you can call head office as well, which is Shogonas. That number for Shogonas is 222-8261. That's 222-8261. Uh, Dr. Batson, do you have available appointments this week for a consultation? We always have available um, consultations. Uh, I don't know where you're located, but God's willing, I know um, I am in St. James on Tuesday, sorry, and um, Friday. And of course, I am in Shogonas on Wednesday, I'm in DB on saturday that's that saturday coming that's my schedule uh, of course our offices are always open and we always have a consultant available at all of our offices again let me say a pleasant good morning to miss karishma ramdan mr rene bastamante and mr stefan vialva of course i have in my presence mr paul green uh one of our senior consultants and blood microscopists at batstan associates so of course you can always get the necessary uh information all right um all right chris so chris rather so that's something that you could have feel yourself that telephone number again triple two eight two six one triple two eight two six one and of course davy is two two three seven five one five on your side sir <laughs> Well, I mean, the thing is, when you have a problem with aching joints, I mean, coal is not ever good or humidity is never good for the joints, right? Um, so people who tend to live in colder climates and those type of things, they need to take very, very good care of their bones. I think up the Lord has something that they don't even know how to do, um, especially from a nutritional perspective. Um, and hence the reason why Batson Associates are such big advocates of CMOS you know, um, which is something that you could get at any one of our offices. So, you know, it's a matter of now, you know, continually taking care of the bones, you know. So, CMOS is something that you could look at. And, of course, there are other pro um, products we carry. Inflammation formula is one of our biggest and most successful because that product actually helps with inflammatory response, reducing inflammation in the body overall. It's one of the fastest products that I've seen to help with um, poor circulation. People who have soul feet and understand green, you could have. You could bring bear me out here with that. So, you know, that is something that you could um, definitely look at um, getting from, from us. Of course, your consultation, your blood analysis, uh, magnetic resonance, resonance analysis, give us the opportunity to look at that blood, determine and evaluate where you are, and most importantly, where you need to be and what we have to do to get you from point A to point B. Okay. Okay. I love that single time. I love to listen to you. When you first came. You hear that scare of the man smoke or that thing for street. You see my family. Oh, you can't show me. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
voice man thank you so so very much and, and so what the, the doctor did was excellent send it to a, a, a specialist and they check it check that out thoroughly for you and of course the ambassador and associates here when you're ready you come and we will put the icing on the cake for you man no no with regards to the vertigo likewise something that that she the doctor may possibly look at is maybe chemical imbalances in the air that is another thing that also contributes to vertigo and as you she did mention she have it for quite an extended period of time and vertigo absolutely interferes with your coordination, your balance. Mm -hmm. And as she said, it is very irritating. And I can only really imagine yeah. when electricity going on, the place is total quiet. Right, yeah. You're not hearing this nagging, uh, yeah. consistent song. That so I, I really sympathize with what you are going through. Yeah. And a lot of the times we we may have to look at it from chemical imbalances that are affecting the air, which is resulting in the vertigo. But it's absolutely treatable. And, and and maybe you should really look to be as a visit. Let's see with that ASAP. Definitely, definitely. I see. She, she said she said she is, is frustrating. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> One of the things she also said to she mentioned said, I use a little of the milk and a little of the sugar. That is the discipline that we want to get person to understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's a little, maybe you do not okay. need it. Exactly. It's a little. Yeah. If why it is the the other day I'm speaking to a client, she said, Mr. Mm. Green. I only put a little bit of the sugar in the tea. Uh -huh. And just to give it a little taste. Yes. If it's a little, then why do you need it? Exactly. So. It means that you can absolutely stay without it. And if you are diabetic or you're hypertensive, this is the discipline that we are speaking of, about. Being able to completely take yourself away from it because you understand the negative effect that it's causing to the body. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Let me see, Mr. Paul Alita, good morning. Do you say good morning, Doctor? What products? you have for building testosterone. We, we, we carry a, a, a number of products that has the ability to do that. What I always tell persons with testosterone, you need to ensure that you actually build, because in, in, in building the body with anything or assisting the body to build any hormone or um, certain minerals, vitamins, whatever the case may be, uh, you have to give the body proper raw material. And that's very important. But also the assimilation in the body is very very important exercise so, too i'm one of that person exercises, yeah, exercises, exercises are very uh important Huge. thing we training that will help men to build and not just build mental uh, testosterone yeah so so a lot of the time is nutritional uh deficiencies you're dealing with True. that we can absolutely treat but keep in mind that exercise is also a critical part of maintaining uh normal levels of testosterone Exactly. Well said. So well said. Miss Pamela Moses, she says, Doc, I'm presently drinking my CBOS and pineapple, Papa. You see? Oh, yeah. I heard about that mixed recently. Yeah, that, I didn't try it yet. That's actually, I, 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 I did that already. I did that already. That's actually a very good mix because you have your, your bromelain from your pineapple and your yeah, That's actually a very good mix. Yeah, I, I did it already. Uh, Miss Tara Lushman, she says, Pleasant morning, Dr. Batson and Associates and everyone in the life. Always a very informative and educational program session. Dawn, Mar Dawn Marie Williams, what's best to support my menopause symptoms? Uh, the question of the millennium boy. Yeah. yeah she touches the on, right? She touches the yeah, 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 yeah. That is something that we're working on um, assiduously. Those of you who would have used the uterine formula, uterine formula doing so good. Um, we actually getting back uterine formula in stock. We should get this week here. Uh, we have women's formula in full stock. That women's formula works really well in balancing the endocrine system. That that's one of a long-standing product that we have that has had excellent reviews consistently. Consistently, there was a female we had recently who her period was very, very, very heavy. Had just by using she started just with one alone. Yeah. I think they were actually on the period. And how it would normally, or they would normally respond, or the amount of bleeding they would have, pain. It, it's uh, the pain, yeah. it's significantly reduced. Just with one, just with one, I think it was the second one that they took. So that just goes to show 
um, you know, the effectiveness, effectiveness, sorry, of what we do and what we offer persons. But of course, as you know, we always try to help them to understand is the discipline and the consistency that actually helps so much. So Don Don Marie Williams, um, that is something that a lot of persons need help with, and we work assiduously at Batson Associates. PMS is not a nice thing. It is not. I have seen it. Red's ugly head at its worst. And but if you are in, um, if you're having uh communication or you are wrong a female who has PMS, they they they're not themselves. It really, really, really is a, is a serious issue. Well, you know, I've been on the topic of, of speaking about hormones. Recently, I remember having a client that uh, got diagnosed with um, mm. stage four breast cancer. Right. And one of the things that uh, they said to me is that the cancer was estrogen positive uh -huh. and progesterone positive. Right. Which clearly showed you that your cancer had a lot to do with an infection of hormonal imbalance that Correct. had never been checked. Correct. So th that those cancer cells are very active to high levels of uh, uh, um, progesterone. Progesterone and as well as estrogen. Correct. So ladies, I could vouch for that particular product there. Who is in that is close to me, very close to me. And I would have given that and tremendous results with their cycles in terms of coming on time, in terms of less pain or in some cases no pain. Uh -huh. The bleeding significantly reduces, the clotting significantly reduces. Right. So that product while you're asking about it for menopause mm -hmm. it's not specific to only women that is pre-menopause or women that is uh, menstruating on a month-to-month -month basis right it covers hormones so it will definitely work for women who are post-menopause pre-menopause or into full uh, monthly uh, cycles correct so that is a really good product that i have seen tremendous results with so you can definitely try that um Ms. Williams. yeah Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Don Marie Williams, do you post to the UK? Uh, what to do? That telephone number, the 868-373-2388. Again, 868-373-2388. Yes, and let me say a pleasant good morning to Ms. Leah Gordon. Yes, okay. I thank yes. you very much for that yes. reminder. Uh, yes, as she said, the ringing in the air, which tonight. the lady described as actually tinnitus yes. and not vertigo. Correct. 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 correct, so correct. Yeah. Thank you so very much for that. Yeah, that tonight, this is really, 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 I mean, uh, people who have that. Well, one of the things they actually showed is that persons who had situations where, because as we was doing some research on this, people who work, who would have worked in loud environments like DJs and, you know, people who would have operated heavy equipment and machinery, um, drills, um, those those hammers, um, weed whackers, all those type of things. They say it tends to affect them as well. So, you know, that is something to always pay very close attention to get those things that could actually, the, um, not, not the headsets, not the air, the air, air muffs air that they have. You know, I, I think in, in terms of health and safety, we, yeah. yeah, that is supposed to be something that you should um with the high levels of noise high levels of noise the djs i don't know how to help all you because already i hear the music all the plane <laughs> but look at that the, the guys and them guys on the streets with their loud music in their vehicles yeah yeah, yeah. that's that something i've been very cautious with because yeah. your chance of in, uh, having tonight is quite high when Correct. you go to that level of death level of noise Definitely, definitely, definitely. So thank you so very much for that, Leah. Keep in mind, you are live on our, we are, sorry, live on our social media platforms. We are Batstan Associates Limited on Facebook. On Instagram, we are Batstan Associates TT. And on YouTube, we are Batstan Associates Trinidad. On TikTok, we are Batson and Associates. So you have been listening to Dr. Jason Batson, the Senior Medical Director at Batson Associates. I have with me, Mr. Paul Green, the senior consultant and blood microscopist at Batson Associates. Uh, keep in mind our date in DBA, which is Saturday, the 28th of October. That telephone number for DBA again is 223-7515. That's 223-7515. And of course, you can uh, add us to uh, any one of those, um, or follow us rather on any one of those social media platforms that I mentioned. Uh, we, of course, discussing health, health from a natural and integrated perspective. I know it, it is now 11.25, well, 26 now. So uh, our time, how, how our time looking? We have what how about we have some time oh, okay all right so uh of course uh, miss judy seaport she says good morning uh dr Batsu. So when are you hey when are you getting credit card machines in db or machine in db okay so see the scene that that uh that door is open let me let me let me let me continue with the door being open so that is a situation that we had to deal with where we had to make some changes so god's willing those changes would now 
come in the next month to six weeks, we would have those changes. We were actually in um, in some discussions because the provider that we had, they used to do it before and now they're having problems. So we now just have to change providers, okay? So that is something um, that we're gonna get sorted out. I, I estimate for the late the late end, because you know, this is Trinidad, you always have to wait for certain things. I estimate for the latest, maybe like about eight weeks for the latest but definitely that is something that is higher on our cards and we are actually in the process of, of um of correcting the situation already okay thank you very much for your patience your uh patience let, that me, let me ask the question dr Vance. Uh -huh. uh, recently i had a client that uh, her health uh diagnostic was high cholesterol mm -hmm. and she will explain to me well mr green since I was diagnosed with that, I significantly reduced my butter and cheese and oil and grief consumption. Uh -huh. But for some reason, her cholesterol levels are still elevated. Excuse Give me a bit of insight as to why that might be happening. Good question. Cholesterol is... Uh, would I want to use the word double-edged sword, boy? Um, the thing with cholesterol... First, one of the first things we have to understand with cholesterol, some years ago, the numbers that we were told to really be our readings for cholesterol was much higher. Right. That's one of the things here. Yeah. Cholesterol some years ago could have been a too late something, a tree something, nobody was telling you anything. And it's like all maybe 50, 50 years ago, 60 years ago. As time passed, they made mention that cholesterol needs to be under a certain amount. What you have to be very careful with though, is that whenever you have a situation with cholesterol out of control or giving you problems, your problem is really a liver problem. Right. So the liver, of course, we know, as you so um, rightfully mentioned at the beginning, have a lot to do with bile and the, the, uh, you know, the emulsification of fat and that type of thing. So the thing is, you have good cholesterol and bad cholesterol. Um, your uh, HDL, which is your high density, and then your LDL, which is your low density, right. um, lipoproteins what you have to pay very close attention to though is that you don't want your cholesterol to go too low men are you aware that in in terms of your prostate your prostate actually uses cholesterol to actually make testosterone a lot of people don't know that so it's very important that your cholesterol levels um be at a particular amount so i tell persons they tell you do not be more over 200 i don't agree with that i if you're about a 230 we can live with that um, if you're on 230, you go down maybe to 190, 180. I believe with men, if it is under 150, you could give yourself, you could be in a serious problem, especially because, as I mentioned, cholesterol is actually converted in the in the um in the prostate to testosterone that's one of the things that uh the, the prostate has the ability to do. So a man especially doesn't want his test his, his, his cholesterol levels to be too low. And then of course cholesterol is found in every cell. In the yeah. human body, it's cholesterol important. is vitally important, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, the endothelial lining in your blood vessels, the cells in your eye, um, the cells for the nerves, the, the, those are those um, melanin sheets that you have there. That cholesterol also is very important for that. You know, if, if your cholesterol levels are too low, it can actually interfere with your nerves. Um, but all in all, you know, um, Mr. Green, for someone who really has an elevated cholesterol situation, then of course, definitely the liver has to be. Um, looked at and, and really focused on and pay very close attention to. Can hepatotoxins contribute to that elevated uh, levels of cholesterol? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Um, those toxins have the ability to to cause, again, serious problems in the body. Because as I, I was saying, you know, what the body does with those toxins is that they actually store them. Right. And when those things are in the tissues, what they find is that when there is ample opportunity, when the immune system is low, when there is vulnerability in the body, right. then it actually comes out and causes serious, serious problems. One of the things too, people don't understand where your liver is concerned. Remember, one of the purposes of the liver is to break down very strong chemicals into less dangerous chemicals so that they can exit the body without damaging the cells. You know? yeah. That's one of the major, major um, uh, functions of the liver. So you find that people who have fatty liver, Mr. Green, which we experience a lot of yeah. with a number of individuals, they can actually have those problems that actually now need to be 
you know yeah. um correct it so again feel free to give us a follow-up visit keep in mind our locations and telephone numbers we are located on the first floor of money talks building that is money talks building in montreux chagonas that telephone number is two 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 eight two six one that's two 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 triple two eight two six one Dave is the corner of Ramsey Moon Trace and the SSA Remain Road in Dave remember our health symposium health lecture which is taking place on Saturday the 28th of October in Davey. Keep in mind that that is just Davey's own, but we have some other additional ones. Most likely, we're going to decide and map out the ones for St. James, Tobago, and Shagornas, um, at least by the, the, the second week in this month, or maybe the third week. So we'll have all that other information for you. So Tobago would know when they'll be getting theirs, as well as um, St. James and um, Shagornas. And of course, by that time, we would also be opening our uh, Londonville office. So a lot of good things coming. Uh, at Batson and Associates, and you know, we of course ensuring that we dot our I's and cross our T's very important where that is concerned. And yeah, like I hit the nail on the head, yeah. Richard, Richard Johnson says, Good morning, Dr. Batson. Could fatty liver be, liver be a cause for this elevation? Okay. Yes, it can. Fatty, fatty liver is very dangerous. I tell you, fatty liver is like two steps from cirrhosis, yeah. cirrhosis of the liver. And if, if you have really ever um seen a, 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 a photograph of what a liver. Oh looks like that is fatty or a liver or someone who has been diagnosed or has cirrhosis of the liver you would like to see yeah. you would like to see that's not a, is that a good condition to, to um, have the sheer size and magnitude of the liver that particular structure that yeah. particular organ and its function is, is quite vast so fatty liver compromises those functions whether it's to metabolize lipid whether it's to create bile whether it's to give the detoxifying of the body all those aspects will be compromised once the liver is fatty. So that is something that you have to be very careful of it. Most yeah. certainly. Yeah, you know, even even the, the question that comes after that, Ms. Right. Smith, that's speaking about actually flux. That is oh. one of the things too we, we also mentioned that the liver has a direct link to actually mm -hmm. flux. If you're having that overproduction of bile and then you have a result, you're not having that sour taste coming back up to the mouth. Correct. Then then again the liver is what you have to pay attention to. Very yeah. much so very much. Now she asked what we will recommend. Uh -huh. I always like to start with the water. Because the water is the, that alkaline water, the pH in that water, uh -huh. what it does, it neutralizes that acid. Correct. But you don't only want to neutralize, you want to fix the problem. So Correct. it's like the digestive enzyme, ensuring yes. that you have proper breaking down of the food and Correct. proper absorption of, of, of your nutrition right. is also fundamentally important. So we, we have a really good product, uh, an enzyme, a digestive balance um, that is from the Equilibrium brand, really good. And that is one of the things that I usually tell clients, really, really yourself off. And absolutely Santulan, because Santulan gives you that basic treatment protocol, oh. which is really to detoxify the liver, uh, and that goes pretty well, Ms. Smith. Definitely, definitely. You're very welcome, uh, Ms. Johnson. Let me just take this question from our uh, uh, Instagram here. Uh, it says, do you recommend doing... Yes, now where is it? Okay, right. Uh, give me one second. I just had to line it up. Okay, this is the one that I wanted to see. I'll take the next, the, the next questions um, at some point in time. Hi, doctor. My daughter has been diagnosed with thyroid and there is a swelling like a ball on her lower neck. Recently, I noticed she is losing weight. What medication do you have for it? Uh, what I would say, and, and you know, uh, Mr. Greed, uh, we were speaking about thyroid just a while ago there. Earlier, you know, the thyroid gland is a very important gland. We're finding more and more with persons with thyroid problems, and you know that has a lot to do with stress. Apart from various mineral, uh, macronutrient, my, mac, macronutrient, micronutrient uh, deficiencies in the body, malabsorption, those type of things. Uh, as regards to what we follow at or, or what we use at Baxter and Associates, there are a number of things, but we start off first with you know um, that aspect of proper hydration then the cleansing and detoxifying to actually get the body because a lot of times what happened is because toxins actually get into the thyroid and cause a lot of problems also too well i mean not necessarily in your daughter's case but i mean hormonal imbalance in general a lot of pms persons again and pms is something we are speaking about and how much symptomology it actually carries pms also has been shown to cause shown sorry to cause a lot of problems with thyroid yeah, health so that's something to pay very very close yeah. attention yeah. Cells, to. those cells that are being damaged yeah, yeah it really changes the, the thyroid ability to produce or not produce or to produce too much thyroxine which really elevates if you need to 
um, tie break. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Uh, Miss Erica Sullivan says, "Good morning, Doctor Batson. Can you touch on lichen planus? Uh, inflammation. Yeah, inflammation in the, in the skin. You remember your integument, your integumentary system, which is just a big terminology for your skin and, and its appendages. So your skin, fingernails, toenails, your hair, that type of thing. Genitals, likewise, it even affect that. Uh, well, yeah. So the thing with lichen planus is actually a, 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 a autoimmune condition, and like all autoimmune conditions, it is auto intoxication." the body's basically poisoning itself over and over and over and over remember you have seven channels of elimination as i said from inception right um of the conversation kidney colon bloodstream level lymphatic system skin and your lungs um even the discussion one of the things mr green and i were, were discussing is how a lot of persons don't really pay attention to the lymphatic system yeah. and the lymphatics again is an important um avenue that the body uses to cleanse itself so if your lymphatics are compromised you're going to have a problem with your skin your liver is going to affect your skin problem has nothing to do with your skin things like lichen planus um eczema um psoriasis and those type of things are indications of imbalances in the other organ systems that are responsible for the removal of waste in the human body yeah Definitely. Okay, so it's now 11.37, uh, my good sir. So uh, you got any more questions that you have on your side there? Exercise. Cholesterol. Right. Could I have elevated cholesterol levels? Low testosterone? Of course, of course. Remember, what we, the thing is, the human body is all encompassing in the sense that everything affects everything. And from organs, so different organs are, are affect different organs. And, and, and then the thing is, there is something known as cross mapping in the body and that's something that you learn in integrative medicine western medicine does really teach that where you know that there are different organs that affect other organs and they actually lap and over so you find like for example the uterus actually overlaps the cardiovascular system circulatory system which is why when women do hysterectomies especially if you do um partial or total hysterectomies they have problems with circulation going forward when you do total hysterectomies and you remove your over your ovary sorry that is a, a, a overlapping or a mapping to your central nervous system and yes uh, correct and, and the endocrine system so it's very very important that uh, someone who has a fatty liver is going to affect all organs including your prostate yeah. so what i always tell persons is that whenever you have a challenge because people who are who are deemed complicated in the medical world are people who have what a lot of diseases multiple but diseases. all of them they didn't have multiple all these diseases didn't come at one time it started off with one problem which was not checked or was not dealt with and then it exacerbated into our next problem our next problem our next problem our next problem the thing is and that is where the blood analysis and the magnetic resonance analysis comes in for most the blood analysis because it gives us the opportunity again to look at your biological terrain look at that biological foundation which because the blood is very volatile you know? red blood cells you get new red blood cells every 120 days which is every four months so blood as much as you could your blood could be as uh one of our esteemed colleagues says mr bastavante it could either be a river of life or a river of death so whichever blood you have whether it's dead today with with correct it change. exactly yeah. so it can improve, huh? it can improve. Yeah. and just like it improves you see people have to understand health is like this think about this let me just say this quickly before we we look at wrap it up if you want to lose weight if you want to increase your energy if you're looking at the color your complexion and you find your complexion dull and you go to do something or you go to do a diet what would you do would you want to eat all the fatty foods and eat all the sugars and drink all the soft drinks and all the, you wouldn't do that right would you want to sit down and eat donuts and cakes and you wouldn't do that you will go on some sort of diet you will start to drink water you might go and start to walk around the savannah you will make some changes you'll put some fruits and you wouldn't do that right and, and that is what you're going to do good the thing is you need to do those things now in a may, maybe a, a more holistic perspective for a longer period of time 
But the thing is, you cannot do the same thing over and over and expect different results. As I always tell people, um, Albert Einstein said it, it is the height of insanity. Carol Joseph Moses says, what can you offer for people with Huntington disease? Um, good question. Again, Huntington disease, any disease that categorizes, because you realize all these diseases, Huntington's, um, MS, Chagas disease, diabetes, all these diseases fall in what category? Autoimmune. Autoimmune diseases are diseases of self or auto-intoxication. Your body is poisoning itself. When we help you and to help your body to stop poisoning itself, then you start to see the light. So Carol, Joseph, Moses, to help you see the light is where we have to now do that blood analysis. I don't know where you're located. I don't know if you're in Trinidad, if you're overseas, but we need to start to help you to see the light. Ms. Deborah Jones says, good morning. Can your eye optics eye drop help with Teresia? Yes, they can. They have helped numerous persons and is a very good protocol for that. All right. So, sir, what are we all after? Yeah. You, go ahead. You were going to say something. Here you have some, 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 some uh, Right. So, we have. Go ahead. Unsweetened mm. semen. Okay, quick. All right. So let me take let me take all of that. All right. So um as regards to the heart, the first one, um can I enlarge heart return to normal? Um I would say yes over an extended period of time because it would require the body now have to readjust certain things but it would require that that person now has to do specific things measurable things over a period of time to get back that result and of course by various testings whether you do echocardiograms or whatever the case may be that would now show things like nitric oxide may very well be a fundamental role in, in improving that likewise definitely definitely it, um that would um as regards to the to the situation where what, what was the other sorry because yeah I, 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 for some reason the heart, the heart just stick out to me mm -hmm. um the thing is when you had in some instances and, and dizziness or lack of blood flow to the brain is something i believe is one of the biggest problems in the 21st century when coming to health and why i say that if you look at stroke numbers stroke numbers has it's, it's exponentially increased. TIAs are becoming commonplace. Brain and TIAs, yeah, brain aneurysms becoming commonplace. TIAs are transient ischemic attacks or mini strokes. Um, Parkinson disease is becoming more and more. Um, Alzheimer's disease, and these are all imbalances of poor circulation in the cerebral hemisphere. So definitely, that's something you need to. Um, Work on, and that is something we work on at Baxter and Associates. Optimizer is a very good product yeah. where that is concerned. Cerebral formula is also very good as well. Nerve Restore is also very good as well. The inflammation formula is also very good as well. Okay, uh, let me say very quickly, Ms. Paula Moses says, Carol is my sister in law she's one of your clients lives in palo seco okay very good um miss deborah jones says i'm in barbados just need to get contact inf information so i can purchase no problem miss jones the number you can call 868 that's 868 373 2388 again that's 868 373 2388 again keep in mind our uh, symposium at our DB office that is going to be taking place Saturday, the 28th of October at the DB office, which is located at the corner of Ramsey Moon Street and the SS Erie Main Road in DB. That telephone number is 223-7515. That's 223-7515. Our head office is Shogonas. That's Money Talks Building. First floor, Montrose Main Road, Shogonas. That telephone number, 228261. That's 228261. Tobago, of course, is the Triangle Building in Scarborough. Tobago, Tobago, we have not forgotten you. You will see us this month, God's willing. That telephone number for Tobago is 2264553. Again, that's 2264553. To the listeners of Sky 99.5 and to my esteemed colleague, there, sir, 
Thank you so very much for your time. Thank you very much for your patience. To the listeners of Sky 99.5, thank you very much for allowing us into your household. I hope we would have been of some help to you and a blessing in some way. And of course, remember to share our social media. We are Batstan Associates Limited on Facebook. On Instagram, we are Batstan Associates TT. On YouTube, we are Batstan Associates Trinidad. And on TikTok, we are Batson and Associates. You have been listening to Dr. Jason Batson, the Senior Medical Director at Batson and Associates, and my esteemed and long-standing, hard-working colleague, Mr. <laughs> Paul Jabari Green. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so very much for being with us this Thank morning. You. And let me say, of course, a pleasant good morning to the team, the rest of the team, and all the other hardworking consultants at Batstan Associates. As we always say at Batstan Associates, if you think health is expensive, try sickness. If you think education is expensive, try nurse. Let me thank you very much as well to Mr. Shaquille always in the background working hard ensuring that we you know we continue to do our very very best miss pamela moses says i find you're cutting us short these days <laughs> pamela you're easy you know pamela i'm on the radio we are now talking for over two hours miss yes. pamela <laughs> so the, the information you know because like again it's so nice to just talk like so much but we have been here for a while remember guys be safe on the roads remember today with that meal that you're having lesson down on the carbohydrates and kind of have a little vegetable you know have a little more callaloo a little more salad in the mix right press. a little more water press. Yeah. you know long yeah. i have we had that lyndon sir thank you so very much yeah. and you know take out take take out the people with a real nice good good happy song let it, <laughs> they go dance and let it get some exercise all right thanks again sir thank you enjoy you. the rest of your day yes sir Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>